Even in this new era of AI, your website must target specific keywords that people are interested in because content that helps your website visitors can lead to more sales for your business. So to help you find keywords for your website, we wanted to share one training lesson from our new AI-powered SEO course that's currently available on rapidlevelup.com. Enjoy. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find keywords for your website. And we do that by doing keyword research. So keyword research is the process of finding phrases that people commonly use when searching online. So the goal here is to understand what your target audience is interested in, allowing you to create content that they are looking for. It wouldn't be good to spend all your time writing content that your audience is not interested in. So that's why keyword research is so vital in determining what type of topics you should be writing about that will make your audience happy. And of course, it'll drive more search traffic to your website. So keyword research is a two-step process. The first step is to generate keyword ideas, and then we need to validate if those keywords are worth going after. So to generate keyword ideas, we first need to write a list of seed keywords. So a seed keyword is a broad keyword related to your niche and or business products and services. So take some time to think about popular words or phrases in your niche and list out all the products that you might sell on your website or services that you offer and write those down because those are great seed keywords. Then once you are done, we're going to hop over to Google. Okay, so we already checked the search intent for best running shoes for beginners in our previous training. So let's stick with the running shoes topic. So I googled running shoes and this is a great seed keyword. Let's just say we have an affiliate website where we review all types of shoes and we discuss a variety of running shoes. So running shoes will be our seed keyword. Now Keywords Everywhere has a great feature that allows you to find long tail keywords for your seed keyword. So when you click on this button, it'll open up this report. This shows us all of the long tail keywords for our seed keyword of running shoes. And Keywords Everywhere found close to 1400 keywords. So that is a lot to analyze, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So when analyzing keywords, we need to check a handful of things. We first need to check the search demand. So we need to make sure if that keyword has a good enough search volume. We also need to check the traffic potential. So it's one thing to pick a keyword that has good search volume, but another thing if that keyword does not drive traffic, because at the end of the day, traffic to your website is more important than just general search volume. We also need to check the business potential of that keyword. We need to ask ourselves if we target this keyword, does it make sense for our business? Do we have the knowledge, the products or services that match that keyword? We also need to check the search intent. And as you know, search intent is so important when doing keyword research. We need to make sure we have the resources to build out content that meets the searcher intent. And lastly, we need to check the difficulty it is to rank. And we will tackle this in the next lesson. Okay, so we have a list of all of these long tail keywords. So we first need to check the search demand, which is the search volume column right here. These first two have huge search volume. So running shoes, running, running, sh running with shoes. So even though the search volume is very high, I don't think the business potential is there because we have an affiliate website and I don't think it makes sense for us to write content around this one or this one. So I'm going to skip these two keywords, but this one kind of stands out to me, Nike running shoes that has great search volume. Now let's check the traffic potential. So I'm going to search for this on Google. And as we see here, there are tons of product listings. The Nike website ranks at the very top and more product listings. So in terms of the search intent, I don't think this keyword is right for our affiliate website because I don't really see too many um, blogs here or guides or articles. So I'm going to skip this particular keyword. So since we are an affiliate site and we know that people who want to learn more about running shoes 
might type in various modifiers like best, how to, top, so on and so forth. So I'm going to filter by the word best here, and we can see all of the long tail keywords with the modifier of best. So we have best running shoes, best running shoes for women, for flat feet. Let's try this one out. Best running shoes for flat feet. The search volume is good. I think we can write about this for our affiliate site. Now let's check the traffic potential. Now Keywords Everywhere has a feature that shows you the organic traffic per month for the ranking URLs. So this page gets about 46,000 visits per month. RunRepeat.com gets close to 4,000 per month. I'm going to skip uh, Reddit because this is a forum. Brooks Running gets 6,600 visits per month, and then this one gets close to 12,000. So the pages that are ranking for best running shoes for flat feet are getting quite a bit of traffic. So the traffic potential is there. The search demand is there as well. And looking at the search intent, so we know how to find search intent. I think the search intent is great because these are all blog articles, listicles. So this could be a great keyword for our website. Now the keyword that you choose will most likely rank for other keywords as well. But it could be hard to find the right keywords with the same search intent. So that's why we will be using keywords everywhere. So in the SEO report widget, we are going to click on cluster all keywords and we will use ChatGPT. So keywords everywhere ran a special prompt with all of the SERP data to generate the clustering keywords report for our keyword best running shoes for flat feet. So a keyword cluster is a group of keywords with the same meaning and intent, which is ideal for targeting on a single web page. So for our target keyword, we have a keyword cluster and all of these keywords share the same search intent, which makes things so easy for us. We don't need to necessarily go through this exhaustive list we can look at this table and make sure we are mentioning all of these keywords that have the same search intent in our content. Now, Keywords Everywhere can also analyze SERP titles, which can help you ensure this keyword fits your business potential and suggest the right type of title for you, which you can look at to help decide if this is what you want to write about. So let's try that out. I'm going to go back to Google, then click on Analyze Titles for SERP then use ChatGPT. So ChatGPT analyzed all of the SERP titles here, and it pulled all of the main insights and common elements among those top ranking pages. It says nearly all titles include running shoes and flat feet, clearly targeting the primary search terms. There's also specific keyword modifiers it noticed as well, which are best, supportive, and recommended. And many titles list numbers, so 10 best, 7 best, and 12 best. Some also list the year. And regarding the target audience, the titles seem to be focused on runners, individuals, and supportive, which highlight the focus on specific needs or users. So supportive shoes for runners and individuals. Since we are an affiliate site, I think targeting this keyword could be a great opportunity for us. We can mention these keywords, these modifiers as well. Since we have the information to rank running shoes, we can do a 15 best list, and we can also add a year and target runners and individuals and talk about supportive shoes. So this makes sense from a business perspective and also a search intent perspective as well. We also have a new optimized title suggestion that we can use for our content. Now, when it comes to incorporating keywords into our content, we will go over more deep into that in a future module. Now, aside from doing keyword research this way, there is also another way by looking at our competitors. Keywords Everywhere has a feature that allows you to view all of the top pages for a domain. So if you click on view top pages, this report will show you the top 1000 pages for this domain. You can view all of the URLs right here and see how much traffic they get and also how many keywords they rank for. And simply by looking at the URLs, you'll have an idea of what keywords to target for your own website as well. So best running shoes, running shoes for men, 
how many miles is a 5k couch to 5k runners program the best treadmills for runners so on and so forth so if you are struggling coming up with c keywords or want some inspiration take a look at the top pages that your competitors have and see what ideas you can come up with now in the next training lesson we'll talk about checking the difficulty to rank for certain keywords but before we go to that training lesson take some time to complete the training actions below and i will see you in the next one okay hopefully you enjoyed this lesson from our ai powered seo course now if you want full access to the course don't forget to go to rapidlevelup.com thank you and we will see you in the next one